Hi, welcome to the Virgo Show. I'm Sherry Hansen. Thanks for joining us today. And thank you, Josh Hansen of Spanky Stone Hearth, for having us out on your beautiful deck. <laughs> it uh, is a beautiful day, Sherry. Yeah, it is. And what I, I notice that you have new outside seating. And does that mean that you're overflowing in the restaurant? Or <laughs> <laughs> It's kind of helped out. The uh, summer's been real conducive for weather. Uh, outside people that want to sit outside uh, we've got i think seven new tables in for the deck and the nice thing about that you can come out uh, if it's a little sunny out you can put can put an umbrella up uh, all the furniture is brand new out here oh that's really nice and you got the beautiful gardens back here i know you know we keep talking about that um out of the fire came wonderful things and mm -hmm. and i think what what um, some people might say, you know, you don't, oh, you're still talking about the fire and that, but it's like you never want to forget where you were at and where you've come, right? Oh, for sure, Sherry. Uh, you know, the fire was a tragedy at the time, but uh, with the adversity of the fire came new experiences. And the nicest thing, we have a new facility to work out of. Uh, it, it's just a comfortable feeling at the restaurant. We were able to build the restaurant the way we wanted to after the fire. What I like so much about it, Josh, is um, you were able to maintain the same atmosphere to mm -hmm. a degree, but just upgrade it a little upgrade, bit. Upgrade. Uh, and then make it more efficient. Yes. Uh, the service was there, the quality of the product was there, and we just needed that extra edge to have the best atmosphere around too and now we have that as well. And things are running smoothly. Very yeah, smoothly. So do you need reservations when you come out to the restaurant, Josh? Uh, it's getting to that point. Uh, weekends I would definitely suggest reservations. Um, it helps the restaurant and it helps the guests as well because then they know what time they're coming. Uh, it's, it just helps for an even flow at the restaurant. Well, and the thing that I've noticed too, Josh, is it's nice when people call in, if they have a special table in mind that they want, you know, they can suggest that too, that if there's an opening for that. Otherwise, um, they, when they come out, they might have that in their mind but haven't um, reserved it. For sure. The nice thing, we will take any table uh, or take a reservation for any table. So a lot of people will call, they'll want a booth overlooking the lake. Uh, the next table might call and maybe want a table overlooking the lake. So we can accommodate both of those type of guests. Also, if somebody wants to make a reservation on the deck, uh, obviously weather permitting, uh, that's a good option as well. Yeah. Now, are you still using your fresh products? And yes. Uh, uh, you know, we've of got that. <laughs> what do we got back here? Uh, we have some fresh basil here today. We're going to uh, do a roasted lamb this afternoon, and we're going to marinate it with this purple basil and some uh, traditional basil as well. And that's really neat because we can come out as a guest is eating, and we'll grab a couple of pieces of basil, smell them a little bit, and say, well, this might be on your lamb tonight in about a half hour or so. Yeah, right. Uh, another great product we have this summer is some chocolate mint. Uh, oh, does that smell good? <laughs> so, <laughs> so what do you use the chocolate mint for? Is that like with the mojitos? Yes, we've been making our signature mojitos and Anthony, who's the general manager and also a uh, bartender, he takes great pride in making uh, different diverse mojitos each night. And I think you, tonight we might have a chocolate, a chocolate mojito. mojito. You are going to want one of Anthony's mojitos. They're, you do not find them any better. I just, no. I just, he does a great job with them, and so that's wonderful. That is really good, Josh. Um, you got some summer apparel that we were going to talk about too, don't you? Yeah, that's kind yes. of fun. Um, looks like you got some new sweatshirts in. I think mm -hmm. I, I grabbed mainly for. <laughs> isn't it funny? I, well, no, I grabbed some sweatshirts, <laughs> but I grabbed all women's things, and so we've got the neat sweatshirts there. What I um, wanted to make sure people were aware of is uh, you've got the kids' apparel now yes. too, and so we've got some of that going on. And I just absolutely love these new um, jackets that you have and, and the logo with them. So if you're looking for a gift, um, you can get gift certificates, right? Correct. Yeah, we have gift cards available. And the nice thing about gift cards, if you don't feel like traveling all the way out here, because we are a little bit off the beaten path, more of a destination. Uh, if you want to call, what we can do is just take your credit card number down or you can send a check in the mail. And the following day, we can get a gift certificate out to you. And those gift cards are really handy that way. And um, tell me, are you doing some catering still, Josh? Yes, we are. Uh, Anthony's taken over a lot of the catering and it's, it's really become a success. The nice thing about the catering that Spanky's does, we can handle any type of group. Uh, a lot of caterers are 50, 60, a few hundred people. We'll do catering for 10, 12 guests as well. Uh, we'll come right, at, right to the location or the facility that you're at and accommodate to your needs. Right, and so it's just a matter of calling out to the restaurant and talking to Anthony or right. yourself. Um, mm -hmm. You'll direct him probably to Anthony, but um, and then he can sit down with you or talk to you over the phone and, and get that special personalized cater right. job done. That's what's just really a, nice. A real quick consultation. You can find out what your needs are and what you're looking for. 
And like I said, we can accommodate pretty much anything, and that's yeah. the nice part about it. That is really nice. That's nice to be able to do. Josh, how do um, people get a hold of you out here? Uh, the restaurant number is 218-334-3555. Uh, we're also on the web right now, uh, www.spankystonehearth.com. And I feel free to browse the website, too. Uh, that's a great means of advertisement and a great means of communication nowadays. Now, can people, um, at one time I know you had the email list going. Is that still up and running? Yes. Uh, a lot of times we'll email our features for the weekend at uh, Spanky Stone Hearth. We might have a fresh fish on special or uh, a new type of game that came in, maybe duck or elk. And uh, one way to feature that is through our email list. And we have a pretty extensive list, and people like to get an email every once in a while to well, see what's going on. I know you're out on Facebook, too, even though yes. you personally are not on Facebook. <laughs> the restaurant is on Facebook, and so I know people can find that. The reason I know that, too, is because one of the fun things you've got going on on Thursday nights is some live music occasionally. What's happening yes. with that? That's exciting. Uh, Ron Franklin, who lives on the other end of the lake, uh, has donated his time uh, every other Thursday for uh, the rest of the summer through Labor Day to uh, play piano. And he's uh, pretty talented, to tell you the truth. <laughs> he takes requests. He loves sing-alongs. Uh -huh. <laughs> yeah, we're also doing some jazz nights uh, throughout the summer. Uh, we had some in June, and we're going to start those up in August again. So uh, there's a group of four gentlemen from the area that uh, are multi-talented. And it's, it's just a great amenity to have at the restaurant while you're dining out, uh, maybe sipping on a glass of wine, uh, having an hors d'oeuvre appetizer, and listening to some live jazz music. Yeah, that's really nice. It's just nice to be able to do it. So, Josh, what are the features tonight if I was to come <laughs> out and eat? Uh, we had some fresh sea bass flowing in yesterday. We're going to serve that with a citrus beurre blanc sauce. Uh, we're also having bison tenderloin tonight. And... I'm not sure. I might have to go look at the herbs today and see what we can come up with. See what you've with. got that. Oh, tell, me, tell about the new um, desserts you've got going here, too. Oh, <laughs> uh, exclusive to the area as well. We have Juneberry ice cream, choke cherry ice cream, and one of the sig uh, signature uh, features out at Spanky Stoneheart this summer, as in past summers, is rose petal ice cream, which is synonymous with Rose Lake. And I even got to pick some of the <laughs> rose petals to go in that rose petal ice cream, so that's fun. Thanks, Josh. Um, thanks for being a part of the Vergas area and part of the Vergas show. We appreciate you and your business, and um, you and Anthony are doing a great job. So Thank you. Have a good day in Vergas. Mm -hmm.